Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to the Sanibel Captiva Guide podcast. Uh, I'd like to welcome my good friend here, Matthias Barbaro. And Is that Matthias. Right? Nah, it's pretty good. Matthias, yeah, you got it. Matthias. 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 How are you spelling it now? It's your last name. It's good. It's Barbaro. She'll call me out on it, everything. She's it sounded it, pretty no. good. Yeah. She, hey, listen. She doesn't like We've known each other for 20 years and we've never not had a known who each other is. He yeah. knows I'm Nick and I know he's Matthias. Uh, uh, Matthias. 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 <laughs> and I was a British guy. <laughs> <laughs> so, saying, anyway, let's nothing just. Like uh, that, but go ahead. Sorry okay. for interrupting. Uh, we have right. the rules person here is actually on, on uh, a professional <laughs> Pronunciation. linguist. Right. Okay. Right. Anyway, so go uh, just a quick. Uh, let's just start off how we first met met years and years ago and uh, we were just saying it's probably 18 years ago yeah so it was when i was in high school he was in high, in high school. school i met this crazy guy i was, <laughs> I was uh, and i was much younger then as well obviously um probably i don't know in my early 30s and i was a w- wedding photographer and we had a good friend who was uh rob um uh, apple who had a who had a videography company and you were at high school your last years in high school and you used to shoot for him on the weekends yeah you, he was my very first boss your that's how i got into boss. all this video stuff you know yeah. i actually studied film after working during the doing those years doing that you did i did really? yeah okay <laughs> so where did you go to high school uh, Cape Coral High School. Okay, Cape Coral. Yeah, so the reason uh, we got Matthias on today is just Matthias. because... Would you stop? <laughs> Would you stop, right, please? Okay. Okay, so we're basically, we're going to be talking about Matthias. Tell us a little bit about uh, your business and what you do and how this is relevant. Uh, everybody, I think most people know about Upper Cap, North Cap Tiva, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's the island that you need to get to by boat rather than uh, there's no roadways there and you are a business owner on the island so, so it's north of captiva north of captiva past redfish pass and it actually used to be joined to captiva years and years and years mm-hmm. ago until a hurricane came and ripped through and created what we call now redfish pass and, yeah, and that was in 1921 Ooh, 1921. Okay, trivia, trivia could trivia could be a, <laughs> could be a problem today, um, but yeah, there's no better person to talk about Upper Cap, North Cap Tiva, and I uh, thought it'd be great to have you on. So thank you very much for joining us. No, My- thank you for inviting me. This is exciting. Never been in one of these <laughs> podcast <laughs> fancy days in a studio. It's the first of many. <laughs> the I first think. of many. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about your business, what you do. How did you end up there? I know your dad started the business. What's it and- called? Yeah. So the name of our business is Boats and Fun. Um, we opened it up in 2007. Um, my dad found this little tiki hat that was for sale back in the day. And, and he tells us it's in this little island. We didn't even know it existed. We grew up over here and didn't know we had North Cap. And uh, we started there and then we slowly grew it over the last 15 years, going back and forth on a boat every time to work. Uh, it's been fun and we do everything over there. We do the water taxis to get people since they can't drive there. We rent you the golf carts since you can't have a car there. Um, and we do the tours, the boat rentals, all the fun stuff while you're on the island. Boats so, and fun. Mm, boats and fun. If I it's not it. fun, we don't take no, care no, of it. That's it. not our thing. <laughs> and they do do everything. It's a, fairly, it's a fairly small island. And tell me how many people are out there typically? So there is, I think, full-time people that live there full-time. It's about 50 people total. Um, but there's about 370 houses on the island. And I would say probably 95% of them are rental houses. So it's mostly people on vacation. Okay, so 370 mm-hmm. times by yeah, the average person too. So there's probably about under 1,000 people there. Yeah, of those 50 and- people that live there, are they, are they actually like full-time residents? That's their only house? Or is it second homes for a lot of people? No, f- full-time residents. I would said, say yeah. full-time resident. Most of them, they probably have a house somewhere else. Um, right. It's, it's tough to live there for full-time. But yeah. they, they, I think out of the 50 people, probably most of them live there full-time. probably 90% of the time of the year. Let's put yeah. this in perspective, though, because you're saying it would be tough to live there full-time. They do actually have luxury houses. And they, Max, they was do, on a, yeah. Max was on an island last night, but he only, he, he, only had, he only had a blanket, a tent... And where were you at, Max? Yeah, Picnic Island. Picnic I, was, Island. I stayed on yeah. Picnic Island last night. It was it was fun. So but, yeah, I had a, I had firewood, uh, eight hot dogs, eighteen beers, and a tent. <laughs> well, what did you come back with? Uh, how how many beers? We had two beers left, and no <laughs> no hot dogs and no firewood. And how many bug bites? A lot of bug bites. <laughs> so they, bug ca- bites. they came back on the boat this morning, and uh, I filmed them coming back in. So yeah, look out for fun. a vlog from that. But uh, what, all I was going to—the point I was making is—it's it, uh, it's not really when you say it's a small island. There's some beautiful, beautiful homes out there. And, a, yeah, and, uh, I know there's some incredible houses yeah, out there. Yeah. What's the dimensions of the island? 
Oh, it's probably about you. seven miles long, give or take. Um, and then the widest spot on the islands, we have a little airstrip over there that's, uh, I think, 1,800 feet long. Yeah. Or Tell everybody 18 about 18 the... plus, uh, 2,100 right. feet wide, probably. Tell long. everybody about the airstrip because it looks the, pretty hairy. The airstrip is awesome. So it's called Salty Approach. Um, it's a private members only airstrip. Um, a lot of houses own membership. So if you were to rent a house as a membership, you can come in with your own plane. So that's super cool. And it's a grass strip, and it's um, you need permission to come, but it's a really cool. It has water on both ends. It's it's a really we'll really cool. We'll put a picture like up of it. If yeah. you if you uh, if you're into aviation like we both are, actually, Mateus has his pilot's license, and I'm into paraglide or paramotoring. And if you see that airstrip, uh, you can only imagine. You haven't landed there, have you? I have. Yeah, I have. Oh, you have. Last there. time it I spoke is. to you, you hadn't landed. Yeah, there. I had. Uh, it's been a few years. So Has one it? time after that, they told me I had to buy a membership. So okay, <laughs> I haven't oh, been able okay. to do it again. But it is a real. Look at it on Google Maps. It's, it's it could be it's, quite a hairy. Was it hairy? Were you? But you know, it's when you look at it, it looks small. It, now for the planes that they can handle it, it's it's a pretty decent sized airstrip. Do you know what size planes they can go up to? Uh, you can probably do a small six passenger plane over there yeah yeah so it, it it's, looks like it's you're nothing just gonna very launch big, yourself but, yeah. off into the ocean yeah, or, but if you miss it yeah you end up in the, there's water on both ends so you gotta you right. gotta time you have it 50, right 50 yeah. chance. <laughs> it's got built-in buffers exactly yeah <laughs> and you got dolphins <laughs> waiting for you on either <laughs> end so. catch you. and they do have some residents there that do uh, use planes to commute they, yeah commute. there's a few residents that do that um yeah. There was, there was even somebody for a time that took their kids back to school every day on a plane. Back no, they did not. Yeah. Did mm-hmm. they really? What, yeah. did they for fly to Pagefield? Yeah, oh. to Pagefield and then from Pagefield to school. Yeah. Wow. That's and crazy. it's a short, you're talking about 15 minutes from the airstrip we have over there all the way and to And most Pageville. of that is probably yeah. taxiing. Hey, no, no 15 like, minutes flying and then probably 15 more minutes on the right? ground when you get to the other end. Yeah. So <laughs> that is it's a such short a little cool it's, it's, story. Yeah, it takes you longer on the boat. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Seriously, yeah that, seriously. I can't oh imagine gosh. getting up every morning and starting up your airplane to go go to a big right. school. Right. Where you go. And at the end of the day, if you think about it, it's probably about the same cost of, as running the boat. Because on the boat, yeah, you're going to spend totally. the same gas and having a dock on the island, it's it's tough to do. It's it, right. They're very limited docks and maintenance on a boat is expensive too yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it's not a bad deal it's not, <laughs> not too bad <laughs> the problem is getting the plane once yeah. you have the plane you're good to go yeah, yeah. <laughs> and he would know because he's just bought one but <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, that's a whole nother story yeah, yeah. That's yeah. Whole nother you story. guys already talked about all that yeah <laughs> so um so tell people a little bit about how if you wanted to come to the island somebody was talking about this the other day and we were trying to actually we were doing a blog post about this very podcast and it, it can be a little bit confusing as far as people booking up to go on the island. Is it is it mainly Airbnb type rentals, or are there are there main companies that actually rent properties out there? That, and mm-hmm. what about resorts? So it's kind of a little bit of all three things. So there is there is one resort called the North Captive Island Club that ends up that manages a lot of the houses, and you can book through them almost like a resort. Um, but then also most of the houses then are through Airbnb or VRBO. Um, and there's a couple other management companies you can call that kind of manage a bunch of different houses. Um, so really, you can go any of three yeah, ways right. to get there. But we yeah. were saying, make sure you end up on the right Captiva. Yes, correct? we tell were us saying, oh, tell us a little story yeah. about that. So tell us it, 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 happens, it happens more often than you would want it to happen. When we get a call where somebody's like, hey, I'm trying to find my house and I'm doing circles here on South Seas on the north end of Captiva. We're like, oh no, <laughs> and then you gotta <laughs> you gotta explain to them their house is actually on the next island north that you can only get there uh, by boat, and they gotta drive back around to Pine Island. It turns into a big. Uh, so, and, and, and most houses the, do a good job at telling people ahead of time. Yeah. Right. You still have people that miss you it. You said at you least once no a month. Idea. It right? happens, yeah, and it happens with us with boat rentals too. And people rent a boat from us on North Captiva, thinking and that we you're call a- them, we tell them, we give them a little map, and then the day before it comes, and we're like, all right, come in for your lesson, and they're like, yeah, we can't figure out your store is <laughs> uh, the crazy thing is that it's as the crows flies where where these people will be standing they'll be able to see the beach on the other side mm. and it's literally a half a mile away but to drive you just it can't get there or to swim. drive back to get a boat you literally have to do about probably about an hour and a half drive probably an hour and a half yeah so all the way from all the way to and yeah. then you've got another 15 30 minute boat ride from mm-hmm. there yeah. to get there so it's a so long, it's a long two, way. At least a two-hour trip two hour back trip. around. Yeah. <laughs> so I can imagine the fighting in the car. <laughs> I've booked it and didn't yeah. say it. Look at the map. Yes. You, do, you buffoon. I, 
<laughs> and the yeah. worst I can see that happen to me. I am the kind of person I'm like that house looks awesome. Vacation is booked. And yeah. I'm like, I got it somewhere that way. <laughs> somewhere that <laughs> could way. happen. Ooh, I bet yeah. there's lots of. So you go. So you touched on a little bit. So you do everything, obviously. So you do boating. I know you do. You have diff- you have some really cool boats over there for rent, and you also have some nice boats that are suitable for offshore. Mm-hmm. You have a couple of um, catamarans or the, what, we do. Yeah. yeah. Do you want to talk about your fleet? Yeah. yeah tell us so about we about have. About um, so we, we have a complicated fleet. So most of them, we have a new boat for rental. So which COVID kind of got complicated. We used to replace them every year. And now, man, it's everything is a pain on the butt. Uh, but then we have Glacier Bay catamarans for our water taxis. We run 24 hours a day. So we have them set up to be able to run. We had a couple of crazy foggy days. So we have we yeah. have radars on the boats. We have GPS. We got charts. We got um, not charts, um, spotlights on the boats, too. Gosh, so we have I'm them sure set up. I'm sure you know up. by memory, too, now with yeah. your eyes closed. Oh, we, to get- I don't know how many thousands of times I've gone back and forth. And, yeah. and we run every time of the day because people have their flights at 4 a.m. or at yeah. 6 a.m. and they got to get across in the middle of the night no matter what the weather is so we're set up for all of that um and then we have the rental boats and new boats with new engines everything over there too gotcha. well i didn't realize you used those for the uh for the taxis because i thought you that you I remember you said when you got the first one of those what great boats they were they're the incredible boats. yeah and we also do offshore trips too we do okay. um we do everything from fun sightseeing trips to memorial services to offshore so right. we kind of do this spectrum of everything yeah and uh, isn't there isn't the uh isn't the um what's the deep water boat that they sunk off isn't that off just off of upper cap ah uh, you oh, think like about the mohawk, the mohawk? Or the no, mohawk. The mohawk it's uh, basically state west from here from sanibel oh is so it it's a okay. little farther this this way okay but we do have some great reefs right off the shore over there about 15 miles off we have some really nice also do you do any sco- scuba diving or not we really? used to do a lot um but it seems there, there's not that much demand for it on this area because it's complicated. You got to yeah. go 15 miles offshore versus you could go to the other coast and it's right, right off there. the edge. Right. Go to the and visibility right wasn't there. always right, great. Right, because so. it's close. It's, so, it, it's shallow coming yeah. up to the island. So you get all the sand stirred up and it's just Exactly. Not. And here you can have great visibility. You can have terrible visibility. So yeah. you can go either way. Great yeah. for great for spear fishing. Not, yeah, no, not, we have amazing gr- fishing thanks to that. Right. But it's not the best not for the best scuba for diving. Not the best for yeah. Sightseeing and diving, I guess. Right, dolphins. Yeah. So oh, then, obviously, so you get roped into, not roped into, you're very happy <laughs> to do, but uh, lots of other things that most rental companies wouldn't do, uh, you know, like, for example, go on, so, fill in the blank. Yeah, so we do <laughs> we do all kinds of stuff. We do a lot of sightseeing trips. We do a lot of trips to Cabbage Key. That's an awesome little place to go out for right. lunch. We go trips uh, around the Cayucosa State Park, looking for the manatees. Mm-hmm. Uh, but you rent you rent bikes, you rent oh, golf yeah, carts. Oh, yeah, we also rent bikes, rent- the golf carts, the paddle boards, the kayaks. Um, do you have umbrellas? Do you do like, any canopies or anything umbra- like that? You know, this is another funny thing with COVID. You can't get umbrellas. You <laughs> can't. Just <laughs> after a year and a half, we started getting umbrellas again. Really? It was the weirdest that thing so in the weird. world. And you couldn't even get, you know, the $5 umbrellas or the $100 umbrellas. You couldn't you get, them. get them. Was, you couldn't get them. Really? So we literally just started trickling in some umbrellas this last couple of weeks. It's oh, nuts. So we don't rent them. Be, yeah. You're re You got to <laughs> take them out of the packaging first. And then give them back so we can get to someone else. <laughs> the, so who's the, who do you think Upper Cat would most suit? Would it suit? Uh, I mean, I've got my opinion on this, but I want to hear you your opinion like as far as um young families old families uh old couples reunions tell you, you, you what's your thought on who, who should be yeah, looking to so stay out there north captiva or upper captiva i think it's more for people that want to go to a place to get away and to relax and not see many people yeah even if you come like right now in the peak of spring break you're gonna have the beach to yourself it's nothing it's it's very different than most other places so on peak season is kind of how it would be here in San Diego and Captiva during the lowest part of September there's nobody around and you have the right. beach it's yeah. just like that on the busiest time of the year over there yeah. so and there's not many so we offer kind of a few fun things to do and there's two bars and four restaurants but that's it so right. there's very few things. It's, it's, it's a really cool place to come relax. Right. So if you want to come turn your brain off and just kind of relax and just that's the right. that's a really nice a thing about it. Yeah. Or... And if you think about the old school type, um, you know, old island houses used to be very vanilla, very uh, you could smell the cedar and the they're, they're not like that anymore. Like now no, you we can have turn up, you've got some beautiful there. like yeah. Miami type houses, not Miami type, but three story like, yeah, there is white contemporary homes and you know some really everything. cool homes yeah, yeah you can go over there and stay on a small one bedroom studio or you can stay on a multi-million dollar house right. so with your we own have pool, yeah with some, your own pool right with your on own the beach dock, mm-hmm. even 
Yeah. Right, so and even if you get a house right on the middle of the island, like farthest possible away from the beach, you're talking like a minute golf cart ride. Right. Um, and then so let's just it's add a very to that. small, yeah. There is no cars. So, There's no cars, so, so only golf carts. The only yeah. cars we have on the island are from the fire department. So we'll have a, we have a full fire department. So we have a couple of fire trucks and the roads are funny. They're just wide enough so that the fire truck can drive. Really? That's the, that's that's it. the it, extent of the width of our roads. Is it... Um, is the fire department, do they live out there? Do they stay out there? Or they, is it volunteers like or residents? So or? they do. It used to be volunteer for many years. Mm -hmm. um, I actually even volunteered for a little while. It was awesome. I got to drive the truck. So cool. <laughs> <laughs> but if there was a fireman, I couldn't do no. a thing. <laughs> uh, but now we have a real fire department with a fire chief. And we have um, firemen that live inside for a few days out of the week. And then they rotate. They rotate out. Um, and we even have EMT now over there. So really? it's really cool. You, before it used to be very, very minimal. Right. Um, is there a call for it? I mean, they, I, we had over the years, we had a couple of bad fires on the island. Really? Um, and probably, um, I, I think probably if I, if my memory serves me right, maybe three fires in the last 10 years. Mm. And those fires were pretty out of control. Right. So that's where they realized we need a real somebody. fire department on the island. And at the same time, having an EMT is incredible because right. we have no medical facilities. So, right. and, and this is also new, probably in the last five to seven years we got an EMT maybe even less than that mm -hmm. so and it's a problem because like, I know with uh, USEPA that you know people t can typically the Which type of people that, another island, private island this is a private island but people go out there to retire and then they actually move out there full time and then they get to an age where they need medical assistance and then not being able to get to uh, you know a hospital quickly, or something right. quickly will then send them back mainland again you know so the fact that they've got an EMT there yeah now so is, at least you have a deal. basics to get you going and yeah. and even the fire department now has a couple of fire boats where either we can take you back to the mainland and the ambulance meets you over there or they can take you or in the worst scenario we have a, a helicopter will come in to pick them up so they, is they use the same landing strip for the helicopter? Yeah, they typically do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, yeah. So, so tell us about the restaurants on the island. you got some good ones. We do. We have uh, two really good ones. We have... Um, well, so th there's a couple of them. So we have... Uh, mangoes, it's a pool bar, and they have food. It's, it's really good, easy going. And then there's... Think, think resort pool bar. Resort pool bar, exactly. Yeah. That's yeah. what it is. Um, and then we have Mainstay that it's also a bar and they have a little more, they, they have a little more options on food. Um, Max and, also and I were there. Mainstay, what used to be called? Barnacle. It used to be Barnacles, yeah. Barnacles. Or Barnacle Fills is what it right. used to be. And then it became Barnacles, Barnacles. and now we're Mainstay. We're still all kind of... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just, just a shout out to Phil. It was always excellent. But it's a different form of excellent now. It's yeah. It's they, they now really they put a modern twist on it. They do, and they, they have a great choice of food, and they have yeah. a full bar with really good drinks out there. Yeah, so it's, it's kind of like outside bar, you know, everybody it's, hang out. They, and, it's it's a really nice bar to come nice. relax. And uh, even when they're busy as could be, there's still a relaxing place to go have a drink. And do, right. We have a video on the on the YouTube channel about that, don't we? It's Max? not on YouTube. It's on it's on Instagram. So oh, uh, oh, social media. And okay. then upstairs is an ice cream shop. They have an ice cream shop and, and clothing I, store yeah and like i heard that I, there's shop. rumors that we're gonna put a little um grocery store with there, which would be awesome for us yeah oh yeah. there's no uh, gro so. no grocery but i don't know if it's ever gonna happen but if they hear this is there a grocery gonna, store on, on uh, so mangoes the the pool bar and small restaurant they have some very very basic basic like things that you really need that you might have forgotten mm -hmm. but it'd be good to have a couple more steps higher than that it would be super yeah. nice to be able to you forgot some basic things or a toothbrush and go you well, know, ba it Bailey's yeah. moved their store now the Bailey's general store has the the Captiva the the land side of Captiva they have the Captiva general store maybe they'd like to open one up and up yeah. well, you know it's a funny thing we we do probably 50% of our boat rentals they book it for a week that way they can go back and forth whenever they need it. and one of the big things that everybody loves to do when they have for the week is come down to Jensen's then walk go over to the there store. to the store pick up their oh. groceries and then go back to the island oh they do that they do that oh, so yeah. they do like grocery runs like you would go on your car to the grocery <laughs> they store they go on the yeah. on the boat and Jensen's is a trip in itself and are they okay with their uh, yeah, Jensen's, you know, they, they'll charge you a little docking fee. And as long as you're their customer, they're super nice people at Jensen's. So yeah, they're incredible yeah. over there. Yeah, yeah really mm -hmm. nice. So you place. mentioned those two restaurants. Are there more restaurants? Yeah, and then there's two more upscale restaurants that are super good. We have um, the Boathouse that is um, owned by the North Cap Ion Club. And it's their upscale, really nice restaurant. And then there's another one called Over the Waterfront. 
Right. Um, and and is that one open? All the, it's kind of hard to get information on that one. We've over the online. waterfront Tell us is about that. Yeah, guy, that one is. It? It, it's incredible. It's really interesting. It's a it's a very small restaurant. Um, probably has. And don't quote me on this, but I think probably 10 tables, maybe yeah. that. Yeah, I don't know if that's um, even that, yeah. Yeah, and it's run by a chef that's been there forever. Um, and one, usually one assistant for him. And they are, their food is incredible, incredible. Now they're, I think they're so busy that it's hard to get a hold of them. So yeah. people are always trying to get reservations there and they always ask how to do We call, they never ask. I'm like, just show up. They're like <laughs> super nice. Gotcha. Um, the chef, his name is Dave. And Dave, not only he can cook in Credit Glute, but he is fun too. He'll, I remember I had, um, many years ago, I went with a friend that had a small daughter, it must have been like four. And um, not only he's cooking and trying to get everything done for a restaurant, but then he comes, he goes to the kitchen, comes back dressed different and pretends to be his evil twin. <laughs> <laughs> that gives you an idea. So right. he's, he's so hilarious. Funny. So I know it's not only it's entertainment, it's incredible. And right. it's a killer it's location. It's, it's called Over no. the Water. It literally it's is on, the on water, stilts yeah. over the water. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it's so. incredible. So definitely check Ooh, that one. The other one that. I've never been to. The uh, yeah, one is the the boathouse. Oh, the boathouse. Yeah. But yeah. do you have to be a member? Or you don't have to be a member. No, you don't have to be a member. Club, no, so they, just, but all restaurants, as long as you bring them business, I think they're all good. Even yeah. mangoes. Is mangoes? Yeah, mangoes has upset everybody. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So speaking of that, you don't actually have to be staying on the island to visit these restaurants because we will, we go just by mm-hmm. boat to um, Mainstay. Yeah, exactly. Mainstay, is, they have a ton of docks and you just pull up for a couple hours to have a drink and... Um, Mangoes is the same thing right now. So you Mangoes has dockage? They, they have limited dockage, but they okay. definitely have, they have plenty of people that come on weekends to have drinks over there, there too. Okay. Yeah. So you okay. can just tool up mm-hmm. for the And day. then the, the other place you actually, is the only place that you don't go the same entrance way, isn't it? Do you cut across the harbor there? The yeah, bay? so come to the, towards the North Captive Island Club and to where we are, it's kind of this weird zigzagging through the harbor. Right. Um, which I definitely, if anyone's thinking about going, look at a map before you go there, because it's, <laughs> yeah. it's definitely a weird run zigzagging ground? thing. We see every day, people run aground and, oh my god and if you look oh. at a map and you see the the buoy is there it all makes sense but if you don't look at a map ahead of time and you don't look at a satellite picture it's confusing look at a satellite we, yeah. oh, like, last time we, we've last time me and dad went there. over there dad was like I'll, I'll cut right across the middle oh that doesn't yeah. work very well yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, that <laughs> he tried to do that it that wasn't and then, in the bay that was out but that was yeah, it's anyway. going to the bay it wasn't yeah. in the bay no it wasn't in, well no it's I remember not, differently <laughs> not in the harbor area it right. wasn't in the harbor yeah so, so either way that whole uh, area over there uh, oh oh yes I, there, no I like, did yeah you totally <laughs> tried to go and you started looking over the edge and you're like uh, nah, and we turned right, right around. We, yeah, we turned right <laughs> around. After we went was, to I, I do, 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 yeah. and We had the most incredible dolphin encounter in that little where Mainstays is. Mm-hmm. In the, oh my gosh. We sat there for about half an hour and this dolphin literally think, was just coming just up. Just hanging not, out there. Just, yeah. not, not just hanging out. I mean, literally just looking up at us. I mean, and just then he'd there. like swim away and slap his tail in the water and splash us. I, and I have a picture on my phone that we were doing, I was doing a dolphin tour too. And, um, we were right in front of the uh, the fish house, the one as mm-hmm. you're coming into North Cap Diaz, this old, old house that's there as you come into the island. And uh, we get a dolphin just like that, and he keeps doing circles and circles around the boat, and he's taking his face out there. I have pictures of people like almost touching his face. He's like right, right there. there. Yeah, yeah. what if it was the same yeah. one? The wildlife is incredible out there, and we're going to put a couple of pictures with that blog post, so check it out. Right. Speaking that, of that, that fish, fish house, house yeah, is actually uh, very famous. It was part of a shoot for... Uh, Sports, Sports Illustrated. Sports Illustrated. Sports Illustrated. <laughs> I saw that. I remember we helped out with that too. I think we brought some people over for that. Oh, shoot. what a tough job that was! <laughs> but, but the funny thing that they shot that in like January or December. Oh, it was. It was I, we thought it was so cold. Right. And when you look at the pictures, it looks like it's the middle of summer. Middle of summer. Yeah. Super yeah. Yeah, it was. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it was definitely January or December in there. <laughs> did it you see any of the, the models? Uh, we saw them there shooting, but we didn't right. really participate or anything. I think we did water tax there too for the crew. Yeah, yeah for the group. Yeah. And yeah, it's so just it's cool to look post. at that fish house, isn't mm-hmm. it? Yeah. So those are from the like the 1930s. I don't even know. Do you know when that I, fish house was if, built? I don't know the exact history, but I believe it's the oldest. I think it's the oldest house on North Captiva that was there before 1921. 
So it used to be a, um, an ice house for right. the Punta Gorda fishing company right. Right. where they had supplies where the fishermen could come in and drop off what they caught and then pick up supplies and go. Yeah. Right. And there's those fish houses all over the Pine Right. Sound. So then yeah. they'd have like a run boat that would come from Punta Gorda and, and then hit all there. the fish houses on the yeah. way. Deliver ice and pick and up deliver, fish. Right, exactly. Yeah. Ice, yeah. So. And that's where the fishermen would pick up more supplies to go back and fish right. again. Yeah. And then there was like a railroad in Punta Gorda then that would take them. And back in the fish. day, I think back then the Cubans were welcome as well, weren't they? The Cubans used to to trade Cuban and, smacks and yeah, things yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Well, so I haven't read that much on the yeah. history yeah. <laughs> yeah. but no it's just so cool it, to look at it's an incredible island and, and, and you were touching on you know just saying how close you are even if you're not on the beachfront but the beaches truly are incredible it's incredible and yeah. if you don't believe us go by boat rent a boat and then mm. uh, you know from wherever you are and check it out and I think you'll be back if you go and check it out because it's incredible it's incredible yeah and it, it's funny because we see over the years we see more and more people come to North Captiva and most of them are repeat customers they come in once and they're like this is incredible the first time mm -hmm. they're like yeah this is complicated and then they keep coming back and coming back it's always the same people and just keeps on growing and yeah. they keep coming back and uh, typically like we've been up there to do family portraits we're fortunate enough to uh, live on the water and have a boat so we can go up there and uh, do family portraits and we see a lot of big groups up there and it will be like it's a perfect place for a reunion or something mm -hmm. so well, though Matthias was only saying there's four restaurants and a couple of bars, but if you're going to bring your own entertainment you make your and own have bed. a big house, it's there's no safer place for kids. You know, you've got your own personal beach. I mean, it's just personal. I mean, in inverted commas, it's just an incredible, incredible place. Yeah, so. yeah I know. And even we're seeing lately, we have um, we have a couple of chefs that live full time on the island too that do they'll oh, cook your meals at your house. Oh, yeah, like a personal cool. chef. So they really? come in for big reunions, and then you will hire you a chef to come cook. help you up. Yeah, and back then they they. they the families that want to do something like that, we would have to bring them from the mainland and all the supplies and everything. And now we have quite a few little businesses that popped up. Over, what a great idea yeah. Yeah, for anybody awesome. that wants to mm -hmm. scale back their chefing and move out there. Yeah. So that makes it a little more relaxing too. Well, yeah. So where's the best place to find out about Upper Cap, apart from obviously the Sunday Cap team guide? I want to settle, settle an argument. More people say Upper Cap or North Captiva? Or is it 50 50? I say it's 50. I would say most people that live on the island and spend a lot of time on the island, they probably call it Upper Cap. Okay. Um, but you hear you hear both. It goes both ways. What okay. do you call it? Uh, what's I your, call, what's I your, call it North Captiva. He calls you it, call it, work. I call it, it North work. Captiva. But yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. He calls it work. All yeah. Right. I, I, yeah. <laughs> so that settled um, that argument. Yeah. Just and, curious. Yeah. And then places to look for information, it's either the. I would say most of it would be the play. I don't think there's that much information all detailed together online, but a lot of the house management companies, they have a ton of info online, or we spend a ton of time on the phones talking to people where they're like, yeah, this is the first time we we, we end up half an hour on the phone. <laughs> so that's the same works. as us. We get so many questions so, here about for different stuff on the island. Mm -hmm. And, you know, obviously we are a guide, but we're not, you know, the toll department or the, <laughs> yeah, so right. yeah. And what's your website? So it's uh, boatsandfun.com, all spelled out. Okay, both so, A N D fun, not yep. the N. Right? A N D A N D fun. Fun.com. Okay. Yeah, so easy to remember. And um, yeah. and we have a bunch of information there. We made our own maps of the island. The way people, it's easier for people to get everywhere. But uh, but yeah, just give us a call and we're happy to answer anything about being on the island. So That's we've awesome. been there now almost 16 years. So we have a wow. pretty good idea of how yeah. things are going over there. Awesome. So your commute, you obviously don't live there. We you... don't, no. So my commute is half an hour in the car, half an hour in the boat, and I'm on an island. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you should see the traffic in the morning, man, with all those boats going back and forth. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. You get road rage, boat rage. Ah, you know those darn dolphins every time you come across. Yeah. <laughs> get you distracted. Yeah, yeah for oh sure. Oh, my God. That sounds all nice. Right, I Ma feel like... Max, have you got any uh, trivia for us? Got a little bit? I do. I was just looking for another question. Do you want... But Why? Did we answer one? Did no, we? you didn't. We didn't? Um, no, 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 I was just... I wanted Ooh. a fourth one, that's all. All right, go for it. We'll give you a second. Right. We'll no, give you a I'm, second. I'm ready. I'm actually, ready. actually, you know what? I, I got the question. I just don't know right. if it's true or but not. But let me just ask something before we go to this anyway. Uh, what's your favorite thing to do out on Upper Cap, North Cap? What's your favorite? Uh, like I think if you had one thing to recommend tourists do, what would you say? I if you're a visitor? So I, pro I don't know how many dolphin tours I've done in my life. 
every time I still go out to t- see dolphins, I still get excited myself and I'm there with pulling up my cell phone, taking pictures. It I think a sightseeing home. trip and going to look some manatees too at the state park. I think that is, and that's something you don't get anywhere. Yeah. It's like, I don't know about you guys, but I'll go up north and I get excited to see a deer. Right, <laughs> and exactly. dolphins, I still get excited here, you know? <laughs> yeah. I think a sightseeing trip to see dolphins or just going on the beach to relax. That island is incredible to come just turn off your brain for a little while. Yeah, yeah. totally agree, 100%. That dolphins never get old. No. Oh. All right, Max. Okay, you ready for us? Yes. I'm excited. Oh. I think. Oh. All right, let's see. Let's hear, let's hear okay. I, I found this answer, and I don't know if it's true, and I keep trying to confirm it. And We'll just go for it. Yeah, we'll go for it because I am the commissioner, and I make the rules. Got it. All right. Okay. Yeah. First question. North Captiva, or Upper Captiva, depending on who you are, was separated from Captiva in a hurricane in what year see you answered this I one i did answer that one no you know you. he didn't it doesn't he matter. did yeah, no, he did. Did. no you did oh no, no. no oh did. wait you're right i talked right. about it okay. you talked you it's your fault mom it you brought it up it doesn't mean we're gonna remember it <laughs> <laughs> mike 1923 oh, oh, we literally just celebrated our 100 year. Yes. Oh, yeah. Really? We had a big okay. celebration last month. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Dad, we, we were at Barnacles and they had a sign about it. Oh, oh yeah. That's not right. Barnacles, Mainstay. The Mainstay, yeah. That's right. Yeah. You remember. Well, you know, I believe the Mainstay, the name of the bar, they still call it cool, Barnacles. They do. Yeah. 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 Not Phil. They, they were wearing a Barnacle shirt when were we were they? there, too. Uh, yeah. We were confused. <laughs> we, we had to ask. We had to get clarification. They said that the locals still insist on calling it. It's, it's right. hard to get over your brain. You yeah. After so many years, we still think it's barnacles. Yeah. yeah. And it was really hard when they took the fills out. We were still yeah, calling yeah, yeah. barnacle right. fills. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Another thing they have there is otters, too. Okay. Have you know, you we haven't, been they they haven't, haven't been there, have it's, they? It's been a few years, but it was. It used to be hilarious. You're sitting on the dock and the otters get up. They start opening coolers and stealing sandwiches. It was great <laughs> to watch, but we haven't seen them in a while. Oh, I wonder where they went. Okay, so this is the question I was iffy on, but I'm going with it. If North Captiva separated from Captiva in 1921, when did Captiva separate from Sanibel? At Blind Pass. At Blind Pass. Hmm. This Honestly, this answer doesn't make sense to me, but I found multiple sources that say this is the truth, so... Hmm. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Let's use this thing. Game. <laughs> All right, I'm sure this is right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, show us how sure you are. No idea. Oh, I thought that was a lot of work. I thought that was a lot of writing for four, four numbers. Okay, I'm going for an intelligent guess here, or it could be highly unintelligent, but I'm saying the same year. And I went 1926 because I know wow. there was another. Bad hurricane in the 1926. That is the answer that I found is 1926. 1926. But huh. what I, why I was trying to look it up is that doesn't make sense that North Cap became separated. North Cap while it was separated from Captiva, which wasn't about. which wasn't an island. But it was before, right? So they got separate. So it would have been so so. Oh yeah, yeah so yeah, North Cap, Captiva. Se- yes. Right. So, so that would have been North Cap before so Captiva was even Captiva. Right. No, it was just all Captiva. No, but no, but it was all Sanibel. Connected would have been Sanibel. It was all Sanibel or Santiva. So if so. from oh, the, for it? the five years that Captiva was still connected, but North Cap wasn't, what was Captiva? All right. Well, I got it right, so we'll leave it at that. <laughs> yeah. See, I, I don't know if this is true, if, a if true answer. If anybody out there knows the answer, <laughs> let us There's know. Even the New York Times has it different. So, oh, right. And then so the Chamber has a different answer, too, from I the New like York Times. I like 1926. I'm sure you do, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I right, feeling you had something to do with that answer <laughs> yeah. online, yeah. <laughs> this exactly. is our, I think this is our first repeat question mm. that we've, uh, this is the second time I've asked this, this but the first time I asked it was... A year ago in like episode five or something. Are you going to remember, Nick? The pass yeah. between Captiva and North Captiva is known as Redfish Pass. What is the pass between North Cap and Keo Costa? Oh, shh. And I do remember, and I think I got it right, but now I'm second guessing myself. I remember uh, you asking you that. You know what? It's funny because me and dad, last time we went to USEP, I pointed out the pass and I told him, do you remember what that pass is called? And he had no idea. I reminded him. No, I know. I know what I say it, every time, and it's wrong. I say it's the Roosevelt Channel. It's not. No, that's. Funny. <laughs> it's uh, okay. I think okay. Go you ahead, Dad. Something. 
Well, you got a, You have an answer? <laughs> it's one of two things. Lock in your answer. It's either... Do we have a little timer here? Can, I, can, yeah. I, go, can I go one? <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's right one. Right one. Just write, write, write it down. Just lock it in. Don't, lock it in. Uh, don't tell us. Okay. Shh. All right. <laughs> uh, okay, I got it. All right, tell us. It's one of two things. What is it? Oh, you can't have two options. It's, no. it's either Boca Grand Pass or Captiva Pass. Where did you write Captiva Pass? I didn't, but I'm just saying uh, it. <laughs> you didn't even he write said it. Boca Grand Pass. I put Captiva it's Pass. It's Captiva Pass. It yeah. is Captiva Pass. Uh, that I have reaffirmed that answer to you so many times. Okay, what can I say? I like to make <laughs> things entertaining for everybody else. That's the only reason I do it. <laughs> All right. I'm just here to make other people other What's people the score look good. right now? Mom, you I'm have seven. two? I three. Have three. All right, are you in the lead? And You're Matthias winning. has two. I, I got think. two. Yeah. All right. So, what do you got? so I'm done. I'm just talking about it. <laughs> actually, last episode he actually well we tied, but that was. Good. I don't need a pity party. Come <laughs> hey, on. hey, last question. La Costa Island and Padilla Rancho are former names of what current island state park near North Cap? I should mention. I did not know that this this island had been renamed. I did. Good. It was the Padilla family. They're a fishing family that lived up. They had a fishing ranchero oh, on this you, island you know this called history the Padilla. Very well. <laughs> Matias, but you got the, it? I got it. Padilla family. Show, what, is, what is it? You go first. Cayo Costa. Cayo Costa. Cayo Costa. 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 Uh, we got this. Oh, there you go. You got one of them. <laughs> I got one. One. <laughs> Uh, Ooh, does that mean I uh, get to ring uh, the bell? Uh, no, please don't. Oh my goodness! Yeah. All right, well, um, any other any other things you'd like to share about Upper Cap that we didn't talk about? Anything else that people should know? Anything? Any nuggets of information? Anything that you can share? Hidden gems. We oh, like that. Hidden gems. Anything? No, I recommend come and come relax over here. Give us yeah. a call if you need a water taxi. There's a couple ferries you can do it, or you can do a <laughs> private water taxi with us. Yeah. Um, and you get that from Pine Island, right? Yeah, What's from the name Pine of Island. Where in Pine Island? Deep in, there's there's a ferry from Boquilla, and then there's um, another ferry from right on the middle of, the, of Pine Island. They call it St. James, but it's right on the middle of Pine Island. And we run also from the middle of Pine Island. Okay. And what's um, what's what's your social media? Have you got any social media? Ah, look up Boats and Fun. We're on Instagram and on Facebook. Okay. And what's the yeah. telephone number? It's 800-991-3259. Perfect. And Boats and Fun. Boats and Fun. A-N-D, not, uh, Boats and Fun is the website. So thank you very much, Matthias. Wow. Thanks for Guess joining us. Thank you Matthias. for having me over here. Yeah. This is fun. This is a ton of fun. I was kind of See, nervous. Now I got to tell you. Do another one, don't you? <laughs> Excellent. Okay. Well, thanks for joining us. Um, thank you very much for coming. Um, please make sure you check back. We have new content coming every week. And thanks for joining us. We'll see you on the next one. Okay, and a quick shout out to our supporters. Without our supporters, we wouldn't be able to do what we do. Bailey's General Store, Dot Ford's Rum Bar and Grill, Spoon Drift Island Bowls, Free Crafty Ladies, Data Bites, Tail and Ale, Priscilla's of Sanibel, Coco E. Cabana, Suncatcher's Tree, and Sanibel Cup. And don't forget to reach out.